Sagittarius. Sagittarius, welcome to Sag Life Tarot. I'm Shannon. I'll be your tour guide on this energy joy ride. Pray with me, won't you? God, creator, universe, universe, source, energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Mother and Father, humbly we come before you in gratitude, goodness, love, joy, peace, mercy, long life, happiness, prosperity, and protection from me to you, Sagittarius. Amen, amen, Sagittarius. Welcome in. Welcome back to Sag Life Tarot. I am Shannon. I'm your tour guide on this energy joy ride. We start off with Astro Matrix Tarot deck. We will clarify with the Venus here. The spread goes three of wands, four of cups, four of wands, will of fortune, empress, and the four of pentacles. Major story, major transformation changes here. In the beginning, it starts off with the three of wands travel, a lot of decision being made on where to move to, where are you going, which job you're accepting, how far do you have to go, which form of transportation will you take. Uh, for some, somebody's going on a hiking trip, um, something concerning work for some. Uh, for others, this is a, a relaxation um, journey here. Somebody could be on a new journey to find themselves spiritually as well. Four of Cups here being handed something, but very uh, disconnected. Okay, four, three of these cups could have been emptied out from life. You have a three of wands and these three empty cups. So these... Um, Cups could have been emptied by situations that were happening out of your control. But this fourth cup that is being handed to you, you don't see it for what it is. You could not be paying attention to it. Uh, her here with these earphones on could suggest that you're not hearing a message that is coming to you, being given to you here. You've already made up your mind, I feel. Um, somebody could be trying to come to you and talk to you and you are overseeing them, but you are not hearing them. Okay, for some, there's the Four of Wands next. So there is a lot of love, celebration, happiness, a reuniting for some. Maybe there's a family reunion going on. Somebody could be asking you for a serious commitment here. Then we get to this Wheel of Fortune that suggests that time has changed. Things are working in your favor. There is an end to a cycle here. You have evolved. Things are turning around to give good luck. This is Jupiter. Sagittarius, way to pop out in your own read. This is you explaining to yourself, allowing yourself, learning for yourself, that the things you have went through has only put you in the Empress uh, energy here. Not only are you so protected, guided, there is something about your intuition right now, something about your spiritual awakening, your healing, your forgiveness, something very powerful about you in divine energy feminine or masculine this is divine energy and if you are a male you are in your nurturing energy you are possibly now giving in to the love that you have for someone you could have been for a while 
not giving yourself this opportunity, possibly learning a person or learning how to love yourself, learning how to truly give love, see what love really is and see it from a different perspective, possibly even um, from how you learned it here. There's uh, four statues with books in their hands symbolizing elderly um, wisdom here. So you could have... You could see love differently from how you learn to see love for some. So now you are opening up for my masculine. You are opening up to your feminine divine energy, which is causing a balance for you with this four of pentacles, causing a balance inside of you, the ability to balance the emotions the ability to balance the masculine and feminine energy as one here. For my females, you have now entered a place where somebody is coming for you. Somebody is coming for you. They have possibly somebody has already uh, tried to mm, entice you to see them differently and I feel you you haven't saw them for who they are but now you are given a chance to see somebody differently here which is causing you to open up even more and hold on to love change your perception of love change what you want out of out of love uh, and it's love very strong here uh, with the four of pentacles you could say it's a job for some it's definitely could be a job for some, but it's definitely like love very, very strong here with this four of cups, four of wands, with this empress energy. Congratulations, somebody could be pregnant here. Somebody is getting pregnant, okay? Somebody is about to get pregnant. Yes, this is that Libra Taurus energy with this empress energy here. Somebody is definitely about to um, hold on to you. Somebody could be asking you to partner up with them in a financial aspect. And then we clarify in with the Vitisera Tarot deck and the sun card pops out. And when the sun card pops out, it's again symbolizing uh, new newness, uh, children, the um, vitality of a child, the freshness, the pureness, um, the innocence here. So two kids, somebody definitely, oh, oh, oh my gosh, there's July 22, August 22, somebody about to have twins. It's, it's, it's just going to happen for somebody. So congratulations, because somebody definitely about to have twins here. This is Leo energy, fellow fire sign here showing up either we burning it up or we burning it down which one is it Sagittarius because somebody deserves some well you would think so okay but now I want you to pay attention to how um if you pay attention to life you will recognize that letters not letters but like numbers of addresses birth dates um, certain times you might catch a certain time on the clock all the time. Um, numbers symbolize a lot. Again, I'm saying this 2222 is here and these two babies here, which would give an indication of twins being here. A lot of joy and happiness. You got three cups knocked over here and you have three empty cups here. So somebody for six years, possibly even, could have been in a situation where things were so heartbreaking, so sad. Uh, you One sadness after the next. Every time you turned around, there was some sadness here. But things have changed. You have put in the energy of changing up your energy, changing up the way you see things. Somebody here can tell. Uh, moved away traveling is here a lot somebody could be getting a new car somebody is taking a flight right now queen of cups come on you got the seven of pentacles here so everything that you've been investing in this is your harvest coming back it might take some time because um in the garden aspect things have to grow 
but it's definitely coming back around to, again, you the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. Things now, you could be getting small, subtle signs for somebody, butterflies, um, but certain kind of bugs, insects here uh, for, uh, for somebody else. You could be seeing... Uh, dogs cats that come back up to you that walk up to you out of nowhere and just want to be in your presence you got the queen of cups with the five of swords wow and the five of cups so it's always some strife here um somebody could have had a pointless victory it was pointless whatever they did to hurt you however they mistreated you it was pointless and I feel strongly like somebody now needs to come back for forgiveness. This Five of Cups energy strength is here. Yes, your forgiveness. Again, you changing up your life for your own benefit. Let's put some money out here. So somebody could have betrayed you, but you're compassionating yet again in a, in a masculine, masculine or feminine energy. Your compassion is so strong, so strong. That is, again, Leo energy. We have both of the Leo cards here. So Leo could be very significant in your life. We got money here. Change. Change is about to come your way. Again, this Wheel of Fortune suggests changes in your favor. You may not see it, but it's definitely coming. Embrace it. Things could have been unstable in your life for a long time. Money up and down. Relationships in and out. And then look on top of this Seven of Pentacles growth. So things are growing for you right now. Your harvest is yet at hand is what I'm hearing. You have the strength, the power to change up certain things. I feel like for somebody, you have called in certain things and it is now coming. It is showing up physically for you. Expect good news and money. Somebody is getting a raise, a promotion. Again, somebody traveling for a new job. Embrace the wisdom of the unknown. Okay, there is a change for the better. Embrace it. Just because you don't see it, don't mean it's not happening. Justice. Listen to me. Whatever has been against you, whoever has been against you, there is some justice coming. Balance is being restored. Again, this compassion that you have, this forgiving energy you could have had to forgive so many people in your time. You got a five of wands and a, a five of swords. You could have had to forgive so many people here. Money will soon, will soon start flowing to your business or flowing. Uh, somebody, again, expect good news and money matters. A raise or a new job offer. I told you. Be careful. Be careful who you talk to about your money. Be careful who you share sharing your ideas with. Um, again, it was a lot of deceit going on in here. So you could have people in your energy that's pretending to be your friend. Let's get what's the tea. What's the tea for Sagittarius? Queen rising. They can't stop you, period. Do you see this? That is yet again the Empress coming out letting you know you are rising above the things that seem to try to hold you back. Seem to try to hold you back. Uh, look at this. This is power. Strength. This is a power card. This queen rising is you stepping into power. <laughs> Somebody about to be in the spotlight. Somebody looking you up, doing research. They can't believe that is Sagittarius. Somebody could be giving you some money, giving you a loan. Somebody want to gift you some money. You got haters and your energy. Clout hungry says anything, does anything, make shit up, dramatic. And that's how they be, Sag. Shine, what? Sagittarius, you out here winning. Shine, your light irritates their demons. Ain't nothing else you could say once you get that card. That's it. You know what it is. 
you know, your haters hate you so much. Somebody's such a broke ass. That's what it says, Satch. Broke ass. That's why I say be careful. Somebody could be trying to steal money from you, pretend to be like you, try to take your uh, competition at work. Five of swords. Competition at work. Wow. Somebody could have been stealing your ideas at work. Same shit, different day. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Sagittarius. Let's see what your crystal is. What crystal do Sagittarius need to get as a right? Ooh, that is beautiful. As a right. What is it? Meditative and dreamy. As a right is a soft, powdery to thick, rich, blue, copper-infused mineral who needs it the materialistic vein and always craving that's not a judgment leos y'all could probably hear people outside i changed my location to the front or the back actually anyway this is um Leos, especially. Wow. And what do we just have two Leos pop out? When to use it? When material pleasures aren't giving you the buzz they used to. When it's time to take a break from snapping selfies and chasing shiny things. You can shake off shallowness. Start with your breath. Then dive into the deep with Azerite. Explore your hidden depths. Okay, so Alrighty, let's get some money manifestations. Money manifestations. Discovery, there is still an essential piece of your puzzle that you have yet to discover. A missing piece of information must fall into place before you know your next step. Destiny, you have a divine destiny to feel through your career path. Your work will help elevate the consciousness of this planet. Wow. You must be really deep. Ooh, passive income. The best money is made while you sleep. You heard it, Satch. Somebody about to be making that money while they sleep. Shine, Satch. Let's get Mystic Red Rose. Ooh. Paradise. Happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase, shock. Here we go, change again, sudden change, shocking news, epiphany, surprise, and transformation, love, unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selfishness, selflessness, and teddy bear. Interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, want to date. We got energy here, number 19, rest and rejuvenation. Number 21, strategy. So somebody got to get their breast on. And somebody got a journal. So start writing down things from your dreams and your meditation uh, state. Somebody doing... Uh, Meditation manifestations. That's what I heard. Number 33, door to romance. Love, paradise. It's coming, Sag. It's coming. I know we've been saying it. We all on different levels. I'm I'm waiting. I'm believing too. Let's get Lenore. Lenore for Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. A snake. Number seven. Deception, cheating, intelligence, desire, seduction, untrustworthiness, a snake. What we just say, Sag? A snake. Come on now. Number 24, heart, love, romance, giving, infatuation, affection, and core. Number 28, man, husband. Male masculinity. 
told y'all we was some masculinity going on in here, boy. Come on, somebody about to get married, though. Clock. We got the love deck. Clock. Need time. Cycles. Time to heal. Progress. I told y'all it was time for somebody to heal. I like you. Somebody is flirting with you. Not enough. Self-sabotage. Give me an angel of abundance for Sagittarius. Gratitude list. <clears throat> Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. And let's get a dream card. Dreams. Close your eyes and think about your dream. Being alive and real, how do you feel? Cherish this feeling and keep it as your compass. Follow it. Okay. And we're going to get one of these. It's a... This is Everyday Enchantment Tarot. I'm going to split the deck and take the one on the top. What is it? Knight of Wands. Wow. Well, we had this one before, but it's so much going on in the card. There's so many different thoughts to this. We know a Knight of Wands is very fired up about going to get what it is they truly want. Sometimes they fight for it, got to go real hard about it, ready to go without a question, no doubts, ready to spring into action, standing on the front of the line of fire, not caring what nobody thinks, just do it, no questions asked. So whatever it is you put in your heart to get it, do it, have fun. Remember, there's the fox, so cleverness, and somebody actually in the background being a little, um, what did it say? Somebody saying things about you. A snake. Deception is here. So be careful. Some people aren't going to like how you're acting, but it's time for you to take your chances. Well, we started with a prayer, Satch. We end up with a prayer. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Proverbs 4 and 18. Sagittarius, y'all here with me, and you know that means I am so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. You are a part of my gratitude list. And you already know my information in that description box below. We could be Facebook friends. Follow me, I follow you. And until we meet again, uniquely you is the best thing that Sagittarius do. I love you.